Hello everybody, my name is Charlie. Check this out. I found something outside my studio today. It's a feather. Oh ho! Hey, hey, hey. Chirp, chirp. Who are you? Hello, I'm a blue jay. You are uh, quite unsettling. Unsettling? Yeah, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I like this. What are you talking about? There's the human mouth on the bird thing. It's, uh, I don't know. Well, Charlie, I mean, you made me, so deal with it. Sure, that's, you know what, that's fair. This is your feather? Yes. All right, cool. So let's get back on track. We're talking about feather identification. Why, hello, everyone. Oh, great. Another one of these things showed up. Terrific. Yes, hello. I'm Carolus Linnaeus, invented uh, binomial nomenclature. You know, basically, I'm like the go-to guy when it comes to identifying stuff. See, I like this one better. I can deal with this one. Yes, a mouth on a human. It's not, it's not too bad, right? Much better than the bird. What's wrong with the bird? You know, it's just unsettling. Why do you keep using that word? Charlie, I really think the bird looks fine. Thank you. All right, can we get uh, can we get back to the feathers though? Okay, so yeah, we have five feather types. Each of them have fancy names, but uh, they can be pretty much broken down into two groups. You have your cool feathers, and you have kind of your not cool, kind of lameish feathers. Well, right? I like all my feathers. Yeah, well, you're a bird, so uh, I think of course you think like that. Okay, so there are two main types of cool feathers. You got tail feathers and flight feathers. Tail feathers come from the tail of the bird right here, and flight feathers come from their wings in this area. You can tell the difference by looking at this part, which is called the rachis. The rachis. Rachis. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun one, right? Yeah, try it out. See, rachis. 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 All right, very good, very good. Okay, so tail feathers are relatively balanced on each side of the rachis. You see these parts? They're kind of the same. Flight feathers clearly have a narrow side and a wide side. See, narrow, wide. Let's look at yours, okay. See, I'm saying that this side might look a little thicker than the other, but truthfully, they're not very different. This would kind of fall into the group of being more balanced. Balanced on both sides of the rachis means it's a tail feather. Cool, so we know that this feather came from the tail of a blue jay. It's a tail feather, and we know that because it's balanced on both sides of the rachis. Um, excuse me, it came from my tail? Ooh, dude, you know, I still don't know about this this whole mouth on the bird thing. Yeah, you know what, Charlie? I think I changed my mind. I think this is a little unsettling. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. All right, great. So we figured out two things today. We figured out bird feathers and that this bird mouth thing's kind of odd. Very odd. All right, cool. So uh, this is the last video I'm going to be in, guys? I don't know, dude. I'll have to think about it. You know, well, let's let the people decide in the comments. We'll see. Oh, ho. Hey, hey, hey. Chirp, chirp. I am a blue jay. I am a blue jay. I am a blue jay. Hello, I'm a blue jay. I am a blue jay. I am a blue jay. 